centered in ebb and flow is part of a new series of art quilts that I called 3D Hexagon Quilt. The idea for this piece arrived uh, last year in mid-September while I was traveling with my family through the east coast of United States. We were driving through Route 112, New Hampshire, and though it was a bit early for the foliage season at this peak, I was impressed by some beautiful nuances of color. The quilt that came out of this experience has a three-dimensional surface, and this gives to the works a texture that enhances the light and shadows effect, just like natural light filters between the forest leaves. In one of the lightest focal points, hexagons are made with a fabric I printed myself using both several plants and rusty elements. Nature is something that somehow has always inspired me at my work. Ebb and flow refers to high and low, regeneration and decaying, as well as rises and fall. During my trip to New England, we drove uh, through a panoramic road surrounded by trees that were starting to transform and change colors, turning from bright green to yellow, orange, red and brown. I realized that these nuances in front of me would have been a perfect starting point for this call for entry. All these colors made me think of the recurring pattern of changing seasons. This theme gave me the chance to capture such a good moment on a new artwork. At the first glance, people may think I'm a crazy perfectionist because they might see the color impact and the amount of work it took to sew it. I sew my quilts entirely by hand. This allows me to pay attention to details and color combination. I believe they would notice my research for color balance and harmony, which is the focus of all my works, and usually gives quite an impact. People would also probably assume that I'm very patient, sewing all those hexagons together by hand. My works actually require a big amount of time. Some uh, may only take a few weeks, but other months or even years. Many don't know that behind these finished pieces, there is a whole process that nobody sees. I'm talking about piecing big fabric hexagons one by one over paper, sewing the hexagons together, and then taking to the paper out. My work takes inspiration from my travel. I use photography to record what I see, and these images then become the starting point for my textile design. I like to be on my own and spend time sewing by hand. It's a sort of meditation for me. It's a choice uh, to slow down from the frenetic and chaotic rhythm of modern life. 